Now let's have a look at the center panel here on the Acquire tab. We've got the ability to quickly load and save settings right here. So if your experimentation is very consistent, I strongly recommend saving your settings and then just sitting down to the microscope and loading them each day. You'll be imaging in no time. Beneath that, we have these different channels. I've loaded mine, so these are configured for individual fluorescent cubes with customized exposure times. And once you've got them set up, this is where you'd easily navigate between the different channels. Notice below that that we saw a change as I click on the different channel. The microscope cube is changed and indicated in red. This is our graphic demonstration of the photon path through the system, starting with the lamp, working through the cube and the objective, hitting the specimen and coming back up through to our detector. As that photon moves through, it'll go through whichever cube is selected in red or whatever modality you have selected from the drop-down menu of the channels. For example, different transmitted light options exist here on this system because of the hardware I have. In the bottom left, we've got different indicators for our adaptive focus control or sequencer, notifying us that it's not set up or it's operating well with a green indicator.